you know they have done tests that show that if you smile at a stranger, that stranger perceives you as being more intelligent than if you don't smile at them? I say fake them out. Well, Vicki really, I uh, mean, she communicates with the audience. I mean, she gets your attention and her message is, is fantastic, but she delivers it with enthusiasm. She's got, uh, she's got a great sense of humor. I mean, when she's speaking, it's, it's one of those talks where uh, you want it to continue to go on. So she, she really connects with the audience. When I think of Here I Am People, I think of Bette Midler's character in the movie Beaches, where she talks and she talks and she talks about herself and then she stops and she says, well, <laughs> I have talked enough about me. What do you think about me? <laughs> I've used uh, Vicki Hitzkiss on two occasions, and uh, she was a crowd pleaser in both cases. I got a lot of very positive comments. I still have people that come back to me a year or two later and say things that she said during her talk that were not only lighthearted and, and entertaining, but they also had a good message. It might surprise people to know that Donna sings to herself all the time in the office. <laughs> <laughs> she sings country songs. Melissa said, I value Donna Wilson because she's loyal, she's caring, she's friendly, and she's concerned about her job and the visitors who come here. Donna, come up here for just a second. I'm not a big fan of country music myself, but I always... <laughs> See, most people miss success by about 18 inches. That's about the distance from the head to the heart. You put those two things together as Vicky does so well, then you've got a speaker who will inspire your audience to reach for heights. When you hire a speaker, you want someone who cares about you and cares about your group. So I'll work with you to find out about your group, any challenges they face, a theme that you have, if you have one, and anything else you want me to know. I'll do my homework because we want to make sure you get the right topic and the right talk geared right for you. I had a friend named Fred Smith, 91 years old. I was talking to Fred and I said, Fred, I'm working on this talk. People reach out to people who reach out. And he said to me, oh, Vicki, go with that. I have always thought people should endeavor to be a river of blessing. The problem is most people want to be a lake and accumulate. But the freshness is in the flow.